Sancher. Sancher. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries.
Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. In the third month after their departure from the land of Egypt, on its first day, the children of Israel came to the desert of Sinai. After the journey from Rephidim to the desert of Sinai, they pitched camp. While Israel was encamped here in front of the mountain, the Lord told Moses, I am coming to you in a dense cloud, so that when the people hear me speaking with you, they may always have faith in you also. When Moses then had reported to the Lord, the response of the people, the Lord added, Go to the people and have them sanctify themselves today and tomorrow. Make them wash their garments and be ready for the third day. For on the third day, the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai before the eyes of all the people. On the morning of the third day, there were peals of thunder and lightning and a heavy cloud over the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast so that all the people in the camp trembled. But Moses led the people out of the camp to meet God, and they stationed themselves at the foot of the mountain. Mount Sinai was all wrapped in smoke, for the Lord came down upon it in fire. The smoke rose from it as though from a furnace, and the whole mountain trembled violently. The trumpet blast grew louder and louder while Moses was speaking and God answering him with thunder. When the Lord came down to the top of Mount Sinai, he summoned Moses to the top of the mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praised worthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praised worthy and exalted 
above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praised worthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praised worthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praised worthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praised worthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Why do you speak to the crowds in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see, and hear but do not listen, or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear, but, do, but not understand. You shall indeed look, but never see. Gross is the heart of this people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I would remember our former philosophy director, philosophy department formator and dean, Father Lawrence Festin, telling all of us during our seminary days to always make the most out of our life, to make the most out of it, make the most out of our studies, make the most out of being with brothers, make the most out of our seminary activities make the most out of our stay in the seminary, make the most out of our experiences of God and with God every day. If I will be interpreting this advice from our formator, I would like to summarize those words by saying, 
sulitin ninyo. Sulitin natin. Kapag may sinusulit tayong mga bagay, di ba po, bigay todo yung inilalaan nating lakas. For example, kung may pagkain na sinusulit, di ba po, sinisimot natin ito. Kapag may oras na nilaan, hanggang huling segundo, paglalaanan natin yan ng oras. Kapag may pagkakataon na sinusulit, hanggang katapusan, gagawin natin. When we are asked to make the most out of things, kapag inaanyayahan tayong sulitin ang mga bagay na mayroon tayo, mga karanasan na nasa paligid lang po natin, mga tao o aral sa buhay, we make the most out of it because tomorrow, that experience, that person, that lesson may still be there. Or sadly, we are asked to make the most out of these things because tomorrow, it may not be there anymore. At first instance, the Israelites trembled when God made His presence felt. Sino ba naman po ang hindi matatakot sa malakas na tunog ng trompeta, to peals of thunder, to lightning and heavy clouds like all of us are feeling today. These things may sound terrifying, but God made His presence felt through this. And through Moses, He led His people make the most out of feeling and enjoying the presence of God. Similarly, when the Lord taught His disciples being around with His people, these disciples didn't know that it is already making the most out of listening, learning, and living with Jesus Himself. When we are in front of an experience where it calls us to make the most out of it, maybe a simple prayer, a simple prayer period in silence, a friend inviting you to do an act of kindness, someone asking your presence and have a hearty talk, someone needing you just to be there, Whatever it may be, let us, let us make the most out of it. When we are given or led to, to an experience, to experiences that calls us to make the most out of things, let us give our heart and let us give our all. Nagsusulit para hindi masayang. What if the Israelites entertained only their fear and not acknowledge the presence of God through those terrifying signs? Hindi, na, hindi nila siguro nasulit yung lapit ng Diyos sa kanila. Baka nasayang pa nga nila yun. Paano ko yung mga alagad ng Panginoon ay winalang bahala yung kan yung mga sinabi sa kanila ni Kristo o yung mismong pagkataon na ni Kristo na nasa harapan nila? Paano kung sa iba sila nanalig at sa iba sila nakinig? Pagsasayang iyon at hindi pagsusulit. They might be like those prophets and righteous people that Jesus said, who longed to see but did not see and hear but and hear what they hear but did not hear it. Magsulit para walang masayang. Magsulit para walang mabaliwala. We will be going, my dear brothers and sisters, through events and people who may be there today and be gone tomorrow. And sometimes, 
those staying consistent and passing events come as significant and godly experiences. To such experience, my dear friends, may we make the most rather than neglect the most. Magsulit para walang sayang. Magsulit para mapuspos ng biyaya. Please stand. Christ teaches us through the parables. Christ is the sower of the seed of God's Word. Let us respond to His work by praying to the Father. For every intention, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church in the world may be like the rich soil yielding a hundredfold harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the leaders of our nation may govern in a way which is pleasing to God and to its citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That unchecked ambitions and selfishness may never choke the word of God in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may experience the healing power of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may enjoy light, happiness, and peace in heaven. And may those burdened with grief be strengthened by God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord all of the prayers offered in this Mass, the prayers of our dear brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming. In a special way, we lift up to the Lord all our brothers and sisters suffering terribly because of Bagyong Egay, most especially our brothers from the brothers and sisters from the northern part of, of the Philippines. May God spare all of us from this terrible storm and bless us with peace and with consolation. We lift up to the Lord all the prayers for one another and our own intentions. For all of these, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to recognize the seed of your work at work in our lives. May we never get distracted by the cares of this world, but be active in your service and so produce an abundant harvest. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall dedicate this period in prayer for our dear brothers and sisters who are suffering the throngs of this typhoon. May the Lord bless them with protection, bless them with His presence and with His love. On our end, may God bless us with care, with generosity, and unity as we also pray and journey with them. To the Blessed Mother, we entrust them as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed, blessed are you Lord. among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has been offered. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 